and our visitors here, for that matter. Uh, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce an old friend of mine, uh, Tony Hunter. Um, when I think of Tony, I think of two things. Well, I think of a lot more things, but two things in particular that I wanted to share with you. You can read his bio and learn that he's had a very impressive career, business career. Uh, but uh, when I think of Tony, um, I think of uh, family and his commitment to community. So in addition to being a committed uh, husband, uh, loving father, grandfather, um, he goes out of his way uh, to um, make a commitment to different um, organizations in the community. In fact, we met 15 years ago or so. Uh, he was looking to join some boards, and uh, he joined the board of the Illinois Father Initiative, an organization that I helped start 22 years ago. And he quickly rose to become president of the board and made a real impact uh, with the organization. And uh, he uh, also has uh, gone through the various positions of the Metropolitan Family Services Organization and uh, one of the oldest, if not the oldest, not the profit here in Illinois. And his commitment is secondary to none. And when people talk about him, they talk about his integrity, his commitment, and his focus. And I'm thrilled today to be introducing my longtime friend, Tony Hunter, to share with us what is going on with the uh, revolution here in Illinois. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, after lunch, I want to get you riled up a little bit. Uh, thank you, David. Uh, David is uh, probably the most humble person I know. Uh, I'm honored to have worked with him, and uh, I appreciate you inviting me. When David asks you to do something, a tireless, selfless guy like David, you can't say no. Um, I don't think he sleeps. Uh, I don't know what charity he isn't involved in. So David, I, uh, I respect you and I appreciate our friendship. I, uh, I thought today would be a good chance for me to talk about revolution, but also to talk about my pivot from media to cannabis, which is probably pretty clear why I did that. <laughs> Uh, and then, as you see, leading through disruption, what I thought would be helpful, just instead of doing a commercial about revolution, is to talk to you about how I see the cannabis sector in revolution and how disruption will impact the industry, and put it through that lens. And then I'll close with a little bit about why I think we're, we're positioned to succeed. And then, Q&A, or as I like to call it, Q&O, questions and opinions. So I hope you'll ask questions. That's the probably the most uh, interesting part of my presentation is to hear from you. So I, I'm sure when you heard I was speaking and you looked at my bio, you're like, why did the former CEO of the Chicago Tribune get in the pot? <laughs> and it has really, so I thought, why don't I just you know, address the elephant in the room, right? I brought my own elephant. I'm sure around the tables there's table talk, and before I came, interesting comments have come forward, some snarky, you know, some like uh, Fox Media to Marijuana, some said publishing the pot, trees to weed. Um, there's been a lot of, I would say, snark around this, but I think it's pretty clear the connection, right? In publishing, we put our product on paper. In <laughs> cannabis, we put it in paper. <laughs> Thank you for laughing. I didn't know how that went. But seriously, I, uh, I have spent a lot of time answering that question, but it's really, uh, I'd say, a professional pivot driven by personal passion. I, I have been using homeopathic and natural medicine for about 15 years myself. I've seen the benefits on my well-being. And uh, fortunately for my friends and family, I've seen cannabis as a medicine. Whether it's people I've known going through cancer treatments or people that have ailments that have gotten relief from cannabis as a medicine. I have seen it firsthand. And so I believe in 